Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today's review is going to be Queer Beluga from the House of Guerlain. This is from their Art and Materials line. The notes one, the notes in this one, sorry, are tangerine and aldehydes in the top. Mid notes are immortelle and patchouli, and the base notes are vanilla, suede, heliotrope, and amber. So with this fragrance, it opens as a very soft and fluffy and airy vanilla powdery scent. I don't get the leather straight off the bat at first, um, but I do get a very soft and sweet powderiness uh, with a hint of spice in the beginning here. So as this fragrance dries down in the mid, the suede starts to come through. Um, I was expecting the, the leather in here to be most prominent uh, throughout the fragrance because it is called Queer Beluga. Uh, but actually on my skin, it's not the most dominant thing. For me, the most dominant note in here is the uh, vanilla and the, the powdery notes. Um, but there is the leather, the suede leather that does come through in the mid. And it is a very soft and smooth and delicate leather scent. So it reminds me of a very expensive high-end new suede designer handbag. In the mid of Queer Beluga, the vanilla also gets sweeter, but it never really gets overly sweet. And also the vanilla gets thicker and it starts reminding me of like a buttery vanilla. The dry down of Queer Beluga is my favorite part of this fragrance. And that's because the dry down to me is extremely gourmand. I'm wearing it today as my scent of the day. And it kind of gets bready on me. <laughs> the vanilla in here with the powderiness, um, it reminds me of like a freshly baked loaf of white bread. And if you were to dunk that into a glass of warm milk, that's what Queer Beluga smells like to me. So I really enjoy the dry down uh, of this fragrance. Actually, when I first spray it, I like it. And then in the mid, I love it. And in the dry down, I'm like absolutely head over heels over it. So yeah, as this progresses, um, it does get better on my skin because it does get more and more gourmand on me. So longevity with Queer Beluga, it's, it's good. It's about 10 hours on my skin. However, it's mostly a skin scent. It's not one that really projects a lot. So it is a very soft scent on my skin that lasts a very long time and there's like barely any projection maybe like in the first hour you'll get some but it's very mild and yeah basically it's a very warm and comforting gourmand scent um, what i like about this as i said earlier is that it gets more delicious and more foody as it dries down so queer beluga i really do enjoy very very much I don't enjoy this one as much as the Tonka Imperial and the Spiritus de Bovigny, um, but I think that this would be my third favorite of the collection. Beautiful bottle, it's the same as the other ones. But yeah, those were my quick thoughts and my impressions or my review of Queer Beluga from the House of Guerlain. I would love to hear what you guys think about this fragrance in the comments. And let me know which is your favorite from this collection, and I'm very curious about that too. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.